right now we're talking about the Netflix true life documentary based on conversation. In fact, Joe Arroyo rebellion. Now this thing, all right. Amazing. Amazing. The first thing I want to talk about the cinematography. Oh, like, man. come on. Oh, like man. this is like, also pause that thought, you know, those older movies back in the day. And like before the movie starts, there's like all the production studios come up. Mm -hmm. This, this movie, this oh documentary had like 45. 40. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I thought it was just me. Was like, I was like, what the fuck, Shoot. man? Dude, it was, I all thought I was logos. being trolled. I was just like, yo, like, this movie's when never started. Movie? It, not, but shout seriously. out to them, though. Yeah. Like, they, shout out to all, all of them. Everybody, all the hands involved on this, yeah. like, really That's good. what I want to say. Crazy how many production studios and oh, companies man. were involved. So but amazing. However y'all did this, I, I was so impressed. And I was like, part of me was saddened by how good it was because I don't feel that like that many people are going to watch it and appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that it was, appreciation it was part. Yeah, so great, dude. My my dude, Joe, <laughs> he's in this like, I'm assuming some like yes. dingy yes. hotel in Colombia huh. some roaches the on the wall, time. and he's like sampling the roach. And and let's talk about the multiple recorders he had for sampling every different instrument if that's a thing from his voice and then layering them together i mean because this is 70 so yeah yeah that makes sense and if he he had just had a duffel bag of recorders and tapes because the scene's progressing i'm like yo what's what's going on with this like this dude's in a hellhole like he looks like he's just fucked up he's, and then he just like starts humming and he starts tapping and he takes a recorder and records his voice presses play and yep. then records the next instrument with his voice for yep. the lyric and i was on just unreal. layering them in real time like that shit was <laughs> yeah. oh man i'm sitting there like i ain't shit yeah <laughs> i ain't like, shit damn, i think i'm nice with my food loop sequencer but <laughs> exactly these kids today don't even know the hardships yeah <laughs> you know what it's like to be on heroin in a crack den with 45 recorders, a prostitute on the bed, and you have to turn in this song to the label. Like, you know what that is? You wasn't there. You wasn't there, bro. <laughs> you wasn't there. This. Yeah. And it's just transitioning through his life. That. That's what I thought was so dope. I don't remember watching anything, watching any movie that had that transition like that. That over the room from room from room going through There's like a, couple, a person's yeah. life event. But this is was... just next level. Because again, it's like it starts from overhead, then mm -hmm. it gets to the wall, see, then it's panning across. And then I think what it goes through the wall into the next corridor. Like Yeah. And I thought it was the yeah, through the window. And, and then, then you see him. him as a kid. <laughs> I was like, He yeah. was just fucking a prostitute two seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like battling drug addiction, sex addiction. Notice that's the, when he's plucking her skin, mm -hmm. that's the base. I didn't, yep. I didn't catch that. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. That's literally because we're wearing headphones. That's crazy. <laughs> that's the main thing. That, that Again, that's another thing. They, the, the, the guys who made this, like they went the extra mile of really creating what it felt like for him. And then he starts like- Dude, the whole time I'm like, where is this going? Yeah, because you have no idea. So I'm I thinking it's going to be like this whole drug-induced like sequence. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to show that he, he yeah, has addiction. Seen this. You know, we've seen this before. Right, that, once he gets to the tape recorders, oh, my God. If this really happened, That's... he is the greatest manager of all time. <laughs> because I saw this and I'm like, that's got to be in his head. Like, he flooded that whole crack den and his manager is just not reprimanding him no not even upset just like yeah yeah i'll clean this up don't worry it, it, it's almost as if i feel like he knows how talented he is so he's just like trying that's to a gift and a curse right because how much do you deal with at that point like where is the line dude if this is where they created this song like i'm <laughs> yeah i, I want to know how accurate this is 
classic song. Yeah, we, once the scene is over, we're gonna look that up. Yeah. Because this is crazy. Maybe it's that we didn't know this and the general population knows this already. Maybe? You think so? I don't know. I don't think. I've never heard. Well, obviously, I've never his heard version it. is a banger. That's like a yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah, soft yeah. version of the song, but it's a cover. It's a straight cover. Like it's like typical. You get on the compilation, Spanish compilation CD, and you skip over it. You're like, oh, this is not the version I like, and then you keep going. This, but this is like he's like, this is my song. This song would have been forgotten by the song. easily, easily forgotten. And he's got that voice that like every Spanish singer had at that time. He looks like David Hasselhoff and, <laughs> and another guy at the same time. I can't figure out who else, Bro, but he does look like... That's Colombian David Hasselhoff. Yeah. I need the story, though. Wait, but the lyrics were written by Joe Arroyo's wife. Oh, what? that's a nice one. What? So his wife wrote that song. Ah, uh, This is why Mari this, has this so much significance. My Mari. This is getting deep. He ended up marrying the lady who wrote it and just said, yo, I'm going to flip this real quick. Maybe you maybe got to clear Listen, scene. he ain't got to clear no samples. His wife wrote that shit. That's fire. That's facts. That's fire. Imagine that. They're like, yo, I like your song. I'm going to marry your fucking wife <laughs> so I don't have to pay you for fucking samples. <laughs> that's amazing, bro. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing.